Let's say that you want to find the average if a condition or criteria is met or multiple conditions or criteria are met. We'll use this example data set where we have a store location, the day of the week, and the number of sales at that location on those days. We're going to do two examples, the first with only one criteria and the second with multiple criteria. First, we want to find the average number of sales per store on Sunday, regardless of the store location. So this is the average of these six numbers, whose cells are highlighted here. To do this, we're going to use the average ifs built-in Excel function. We're going to put the answer in cell E5. So left click on E5. Next, type in an equal sign. Then type in the letters AV. And a pop-up box will appear. In the box, left double click on average ifs. From here, we need to define the average range. This is the range of cells that Excel is going to use to calculate the average from, which is in column C, the number of sales. So left click and hold on the first cell, cell C2. Then drag down over the last cell, cell C43. And then release it, click and hold. Next, type in a comma. And now we need to input the criteria range. These are the cells that Excel is going to check the criteria against, which is column B, the day of the week. So left click and hold on the first cell, cell B2. Then drag down over the last cell, cell B43. And then release it, click and hold. Next, we type in a comma, and then we need to input the actual criteria, which in this case is Sunday. To input this into the function, it must be surrounded by quotation marks. So type in quotation marks, then the word Sunday, capitalization doesn't matter here, then type in another quotation marks. And next, we type in a close parenthesis to close off the function, and then hit the Enter key, and we have our answer of 77.17 rounded off. To check this, I've entered it here by hand, I'll hit the Enter key, and we do indeed get the same answer. Now a second example using multiple criteria. We're again going to use the average number of sales per store on Sunday, but only for the Huntley location. So there are two criteria, Sunday and Huntley. This will be for just these two cells that meet the criteria. This will start the same, equal sign, type in AV, then left double click on average ifs. Then we define the average range. Left click and hold on the first cell, cell C2, then drag down over the last cell, cell C43, and release the click and hold. Next, type in a comma, and then we need to input the first criteria range, which is column B, the day of the week. So left click and hold on the first cell, cell B2, then drag down over the last cell, cell B43, and then release the click and hold. Next, we type in another comma, and then we need to input the actual first criteria which again in this case is Sunday. So type in a quotation marks, then type in the word Sunday, then type in quotation marks, and then type in a comma. Next, we need to input the second criteria range, which is the store location, which is column A. So left click and hold on the first cell, cell A2, then drag over the last cell, cell A43, and then release the click and hold. Next, type in a comma, and then we need to input the actual second criteria which in this case is Huntley. So type in quotation marks, then type in the word Huntley. Again, capitalization doesn't matter, then type in another quotation marks. And next, we type in a close parenthesis to close off the function, and then we can hit the Enter key, and we have our answer of 97. To check this, I've entered it here by hand, and I'll hit the Enter key, and again, we get the same answer. All right, my friends, hopefully you got something out of this video. I do have sh sh more videos right there for you. Till next time, I am out of here.